Hello and welcome to another recording for my channel. This will be the 12th uh, video for Lapata Crafter 2023 playthrough. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a new layout and actually a new base. I've started to pull apart everything except for the biodome, so I've only got a little bit there with farm um, storage. I've built um, it over the lake here simply because. I can have it half on the lake, half on the land, and underneath I've built the resource collectors. And in here for the auto crafter, I've actually got the fusion cell. I've got three of these now. But as you unlock new things, it unlocks here. So this is getting bigger every time something unlocks. But as you can see here, the auto crafter will uh, grab anything from nearby. So I've got the uh, level one, uh, level two uh, veggie growers here, or food growers here, so that it would take directly from there to make fertilizer. Um, underneath the base, I have water collectors up here, and what else was there? Oh, the beehives. So I've got hives underneath for honey for creating food, and I've also got gas collectors. Now, since the planet's gone to a certain level. The gas collectors don't norm naturally, or not naturally, uh, collect the um, methane as much. Now they're collecting nitrogen as well. So the oxygen is needed for one late game uh, building so far, which is the silk farm. So I'll collect all this stuff while I'm looking at it. But you can see that nitrogen seems to be uh, starting to take over the uh, methane. So you might have to build more of these collectors Where's the fourth one? Right there. Uh, you might have to build more of these collectors if you want uh, methane to be a uh, regular res uh, resource collection. Or, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, let's see, where did I put those things? I put them at the entry here. So what I've got this covered for is rockets and these power cells. Uh, so what I've done here in the back, is I've built where that, is I've built the control center pretty much anything that is needed to uh, make something other than the auto crafter I may put a bio lab in here somewhere or next to it somewhere but I'm um, really I've run out of room so I have to move this out of the way and put the bio lab on the door there so um, it's been a couple of hours of gameplay because I had to had to unlock the oxygen otherwise I was getting nowhere in the game it was just um, I was locked in place until I could get the power cell this thing and now that I've got this I need a power cell to build it so I have to wait to build this thing because I want to uh, power up the ships. I'm, I'm almost certain the power cell is what's needed to power up the ships. I've only got a little bit left to go. The fish. Um, circuit boards I've got quite a few already, so I won't need this for a while. And these actually are the only thing falling with asteroids. I'll see if those rocks are cleared because I couldn't actually get to them. Now the rocks are still here. But yeah, the last couple of asteroids have just been a single asteroid. And it's just been that one... Um, resource so I don't know if building up the atmosphere is like burning up the uh, asteroids in general and only the good ones are coming through now I can't see any of the pulsar crystals oh that did I see one just here yeah oh there they are they fell in the gap two three four five six so you can see you get you need five for a power station you drop about oh six there's seven yeah, see, I can't get to it because of the angle and the rock is in the way. So, next time I come up here to grab that, it might actually be gone. Another reason I had to move the base is because this tree grew into it and it actually um, clipped through the building and I couldn't actually get through the hallway. So, I had to de deconstruct certain things to get to it to get through. So, that's part of the reason I've um, moved the base. And the other reason is basically I had to redesign it around the auto crafter. So this autocraft, if you look at the, if I can get the green circles, you can see the green circle goes all the way to the back right corner there. So it overlaps this entire building um, and also below and above. So if I build anything up here, 
the Illinois Crafter should be able to get to the storage in it. Um, if you hear any rumbling in the background, uh, uh, there is a... That sounded more like an asteroid, but if you hear any rumbling in the background, I do actually have a thunderstorm. Oh, I've got to move that damn... It was in the tree, I didn't see it. Uh, let's see. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the crash site. Where's the hit? Oh, over here. What? Oh, it's landed on top of the sand. Has it? Um, what I'm going to try to do now is get to the... Uh, is that another one? Oh, anyway. <laughs> shiny things, shiny things. Um... This thing here is a root system, and you can actually climb it. So to get up on the top, you have to climb this. Once you're up here, there is a couple of blue crates. If I can remember. A couple of plants that don't seem to be interactive or do anything, but you know, it's starting to, even in this dead rock area, you're getting plants starting to grow. Oh, there's one right there. There's a lot of zeolite up here. Uh, actually, I think I've got about two or three computer chips. So I might have to go back down, empty my pockets. So up there, another asteroid just landed. So I've got resources up there. So it, it, it's like um, you have to run around to get to it. Yeah, and that's why you... Oh yeah, my oxygen is now... Why aren't I dying? Not complaining, but I should be dead right now. Uh, the oxygen um, production on the planet is so good that I don't no longer need a breather. Nah, kind of full. Haha! <laughs> Yay! Stupidity. I'll pick that up. Actually, I'll empty my pockets and then I'll start filming again. Okay, so I'm back on the top. Um, that asteroid didn't actually have um, pulsar crystal. It had some osmium, some sulfur, and some more osmium. So it's actually, um, again, I don't know if the, in, like in real world, the atmosphere of a planet will actually help the rocks burn up and, and not land. So maybe it's heavy, heavier elements are just landing now. Um, not going to complain. It's always good to get resources. But I will just clear out this area and then we'll head to the um, rocket booster, see if this power cell actually will um, activate the ship, see if those doors unlock and see if there's any good resources. So I'd assume there's got to be a, a blue or golden crate hidden in there. There we go some rarer resources so I don't think there's any way to get up here <coughs> sorry before the um, plants grow and the roots grow because I'm pretty sure these sort of things are just here Ooh, that's a nice view might be worth building a base up uh, not a base but a, um, a lookout tower up here just so you can look around that's nice Especially now that it's greening up. You can see um, all the trees are growing. I've got these uh, level 3 tree growers. I've got uh, the biodomes growing, uh, going out that way. I've got the level 1 there, the level 2 there, and that's the butterfly one. There are different butterflies to put in them, and they all produce different oxygen levels. Um, yeah, this is, like, really nice. Also, I do believe an, a direct asteroid hit to a... a an item will actually destroy it because I believe I lost some energy and when I looked around I did find some pulsar crystals but I honestly don't remember what the level of oxygen was but I do know that it went down and that the pulsar crystals were there around about the place I thought I had built the electrical uh, the um, power cell okay so the only thing I need to worry about now is the food and water and that's it. Hopefully if I put the power cell in, the, the lights will come back on as well. What else did I want to do? I want to check all these bloody panels, didn't I? Yeah, I don't... I think it's... It's uh, pretty much... 
the only ship that had that panel that the, the um you could deconstruct was the one crash site. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh yeah. Now does it create energy? No, I don't think it created any energy. I think it just activated the ship. Okay, door opened. Okay, nothing special. Chairs. Rare resources. So I picked all this stuff up from Asteroid Hit, so I <laughs> didn't even think to empty out. Uh... The only thing I really care to find at this point are more computer chips because I can't deconstruct that. I'll empty my pockets and I'll meet you back here. Okay, we're back at the ship. That door did not open, but this one did. Let's get all the uh, resources we can. So pretty much the only thing I'm going to be keeping on me are the um, power cells because I don't know if there's another engine past this lockage. More computer chips here. A circuit board, sorry. Doesn't seem to be anything fancy. I don't want to get them constructed just yet. Another computer chip, which is always good. Ah, I keep bumping the essential wheel and I'm trying to right click left. Click. No, yeah, okay. So one more computer chip, and there was another door that opened, I noticed on the way out, so... I will have a quick gander. Okay, that must have just been a respawn. Alright, yeah, where do I see that other door? Here it is. And I'm full, aren't I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I will go empty my pockets and meet you back here. Okay, and we're back. Was that door open? I don't remember. Must have been. Okay. Let's have a gander at what goodies we can find. Another couple of circuit boards and hopefully a computer chip. No, another circuit board. Uh, rockets are good because I need those for... The drones to have them collect things hopefully I think that's the end of this ship that's everything in here I believe we'll have a look at that white crystal cave that we um, bumped into at the end of the last video and then we'll head to the next ship fragment um, I don't know if that ice has melt not the ice hasn't melted yet so there's still more to be found I reckon what's this here it's just weeds, okay. So I've also unlocked um, the level two mining unit. And what it does is it seem it has a larger capacity as well as it um, mines more of the rare resource rather than the, the common resources. So whereas you'd have two or three um, uh, iridium in a 12 pack, of, uh, of a crate. This one is like a large um, cabinet and it has basically half. So it's um, pretty good. And again, I don't know, this looks like zero, uh, Zeonite, but Zeonite seem to be at the um, blowing rock field in the other area. Okay, there's nothing standing out as being, is that ice? Inventory full. <laughs> Hopefully I don't find anything because I'll have to empty my pockets before I leave. Okay, for whatever... Oh, that's another entry to another cave there. Another blue crate, which I won't open because I can't collect it yet. What's that? Ice. So this cave is still frozen so, for some reason. Okay. So this comes out behind the um, Iridium Cave because that's the sand f 
Oh, hang on. I am behind. I think that's where the um, mushroom cave is. If I go up and around and back down, that's where the mushroom cave was where I found the, um, the alien key. Okay. Yeah, this is what the glow sticks are for. You can use them as um, guide posts for where you can go when you get lost. Or if, you've got a, if you find a new area. Okay, that looks like another cave there. Again, nothing seems to stand out. I'll have to build ooh, aluminium. I'll have to build a, um, a level 2 mining unit in here. Because when I built the level 1, it didn't actually do anything. That interconnects here. That's more aluminium. Okay, this near uh, the... Um, Nope, I have no idea what this is. I have not been here before. A crater. Just from the shape of it, I'd say it's a crater, but there doesn't seem to be any heavy resources around here. Um, actually, this... This almost looks like that place that was filled with the yellow gas. I mean, there's nothing around here that says special zone let's have a look under the water see if there's any crates or um cave entries there's a thing here uh to see no okay there's a base under the water so i'll be coming back here once i've emptied my pockets because definitely got some um uh, blue crates to unlock maybe a gold one hopefully because the gold ones have a lot of good stuff uh, resources in general seem to be pretty bland nothing special stands out a couple of uh, aluminum or aluminium that's a third blue crate I think with the blue crates alone now I'll have a full a full um, bag of goodies to take back to the home base and again I'm not looking in behind the rocks there could be more goodies hidden behind them as well so, I will have to head back to the base, get myself some food and uh, water. Oh, actually, do I have that mouthpiece on me? No, I do not. Ah, I didn't. I, I was going to make the um, filt filtration device that you can actually drink water straight from the lakes. But I think I got distracted by Shiny, and um, now I have to find my way back home and make that. I'll meet you back here at this... Um, hidden base because I think we've just gone through that entire uh, white crystal cave and we're back at the crater so what I'm gonna do is I think I've built, collected enough resources I'm gonna build a little base right here in the middle there's a blue crate on the wall there whole heap of crates up oh my lord what the hell something um Drastic happened here within the storyline of the game, I reckon. Okay. Is that on the ground? Nope, it's floating for some reason. Damn it. I don't know why it would do that. I think it'd have some sort of click thing and it would more than likely try to be on the ground. There we go. Close enough. Awesome. And did I have enough for a cabinet? No, I did not. Okay. So we'll just grab three of these, and uh, that should be it, hopefully. There we go. <clears throat> I think I'll collect those blue crates off screen, because there's quite a few of them. I'll just have a look at this base that's down there, and then we'll head to the next uh, ships with the... Um, I want to keep one of those on me and one of those on me. The next ship with the nuclear reactor. Okay, so, might be over here, I think that's where I came down, I'm not sure, already lost blue crate, so it's on the other side, I think. If yeah, this jetpack works really well, it helps you move a lot faster, there it is. And again, because we're underwater, we won't... Oh, okay. I'm trying to click it. Why would I click it? 
Okay, what else do we have here? Can I deconstruct that? Nope. Nope. What's this? Space food? Another... Oh, it's not a big base. It's just a little cabinet. Okay. Oh, got the um, pulsar and the osmium. These are pretty much useless now that you can build um, pulsar quartz. But I think... Oh, sorry, collect them. I think you might need uh, these to make them, though. So... I've got a lot of them saved up already. Okay, my oxygen's not dropping. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Okay, so just make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. Let's read this message and we'll head to the next ship. I thought I found the perfect meteor crater to build my launch platform, but, but the visibility is atrocious. There's no way I'll be able to send anything from down here. I will try to make another base higher on the crater rim somewhere near okay so it gives you some coordinates should work hopefully the fog will fade away soon and this is a different name Akalus, i guess 30 and this is before the other one so they've sent many people down here to terraform and something keeps going wrong every time okay i'm back at the base and i'll show you another unlock i got which is the teleporter Okay, so I've only got the two set up now, but I will be setting up more. So now I am in, <clears throat> or just on the outskirts of that zeolite um, biome. So I will be able to, I'm not sure if, how the drones work, if they use it, but um, it's easier now to get across the map. So, again, with lagging, I had to delete a lot of things. So I might be deleting that, um, that bridge I built out of the, over, the, over the ridge to get to here. But um, it's a good centralized spot. I can get to that wreck. I can get to the uh, uranium cave, which, I'm again, I have to build a couple of level 2 uh, mining units to see if I can get those resources now because the level 1 wouldn't mind them um, you can see that trees are starting to grow around there's a lot of uh, desert still but it is greening up slightly um, yeah it's a it's it's I like the game it's really good it's I did screw up by not building enough um, oxygen production at the beginning I'm still way off from finishing oxygen but I am near the end of everything else um, then with the biodomes building biomass that actually pr produces pretty well so far i don't know what the um speed will be once it gets oh actually did i keep the bloody pets i did okay i was moving stuff around i completely forgot if i kept the power cell on the end of ah crap okay so it's straight down isn't it keep going down 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 Okay. Oh, it locks in. I need three fusion cells for this. Oh, so once it's locked in, you can't take it out. Oh, okay. Let's see if any doors open. Otherwise, I'll have to go back and grab another couple of fusion cells. Okay, we're back at the ship. Oops, no, we have to go back to the reactor first. I was trying to open that door without reactor. <clears throat> get in there and let's find out so obviously the lights on the ship don't come back on which sucks okay oh they both opened up okay awesome i thought only one of them would okay resources some good ones okay there's nitrogen cell in there on oh, uh capsule sorry um Thing stands out again some of these walls might dissolve nope just a crate panel doesn't open up crate doesn't open whatever you go what if you pulse the cells i'll drop this stuff off at the um cabinet uh, the cabin just outside the ship and i'll meet you back here okay i've just collected the last from that blue crate now we're on the other side i think is where that uh, double door was. I 
Okay, so these two don't open up, but there should be a double door through here that did. Two double doors, perhaps. Yeah, so there's nothing again stands out apart from that cabinet. Some rare resources again. <clears throat> Damn throat. This is the last place to look. I'd like to know what these things are. They seem to be everywhere. I think they're just like a cargo pod, but I'd like to know for sure. And then four more circuit boards. I think that's everything in this ship, but I could have sworn I deconstructed something behind these as well. Hmm. Maybe there's a computer screen you can use to unlock other doors. I don't know, but I don't see anything lighting up. There's nothing down here but a dead end. Actually, what's that back wall? Nope, doesn't dissolve. Okay. That's where the uh, energy is. Can't. Well, that's the end of this one. I'll go back to my base. I will uh, grab some more power cells. I'll grab three just in case the next crash has three cell sockets that I've missed. And I'll meet you back at the other ship. Okay, flying up to the um, warp gate, I see that plants have started to grow on it. Looks kind of good. I don't. It's a repeating pattern, but you know, it's better than nothing. And I like the look of it. Um, flying through the canyon on my way here, there are a lot of root systems to climb up onto the um, plateau. So uh, that's other stuff you can. Something was just. Oh, it was the, probably that. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff to look for on this planet. And again, the stuff you couldn't get to before. I thought the jetpack would get you up there, but it only helps you hover. Um, you basically need to uh, grow plants so that they. That looks like a wreck. Oh, that's what I couldn't get before. That's right now. Yeah. Okay. So where is the power cell? Right there. Oh, I didn't deconstruct these or this work. Unless they respawn. Okay, how many do I need? Oh, just the one. Good. Hit the rear air pressurization of a door. Okay. Was this one of them or was that... That's the... Yeah, there's the cave. Okay. That's opened up. Okay. Cabinet full of goodies. Okay. Late game, you pretty much want the pink cell, uh, the pink crystals and the circuit boards. They're the main things you want. Everything else you should collect, have collected enough of them by this time of the game. So I'll just go empty my pockets again. Okay, we're back in the room. Let's see what we got in that blue crate as well. Let's see if anything in the background. Okay. What's this? Ooh, level two mutant gen. I haven't gotten that. I don't think I've unlocked that one yet. Zeolite, again, seems to be a regular needed um, resource. Okay, I'm pretty sure this base had at least one double door in it. But where did I see that double door? Maybe it was the other ship. Um, there it is. And it's not opened. Neither is that one. Although you can see plants in behind it. I can see greenery. Hmm. Again, you might need a level three. There's definitely something beyond those doors, but I'm not sure if that's the outside world. Again, there's another room in there. Why would they have the graphics of another room in there if you can't get in there? Hmm. Obviously, there's something else you got to do to unlock even more, unless... They haven't added that to the game yet. No, I don't want to deconstruct that. Okay, the next ship I want to look at is...
oh, the big one behind the sand caves, I think, is the next one I want to look at. So, again, I'll bring all these goodies back to my main base. And I will then head out to... Damn it. Uh, head out to the next uh, ship fragment to see if there's any goodies I can grab from that one. I'll see you back there at the next ship soon. And we're back at this other crash site. Let's hope there's some really good goodies in here. I think it's down this way to the engine. Pretty sure it was... There's another doorway, so it must be through here. I don't want to climb. Do I want to climb? Can't remember. Another respawn, so there's nothing in it. Can't pick any of this stuff up. Maybe I do have to climb. Ah, yes I do, okay. <coughs> ah, that's where the door, uh, the hidden wall was, okay. No more. Again, the screens aren't lighting up, so it doesn't do anything for that. This has opened up. Let's just get us some circuit boards. More circuit. Ah, good, another computer chip. Yeah. Really, all I'm interested in at this point are the pink um, uh, pulsar crystals and the computer chips. They are just uh, very important late game. Oh, the chips are always important to unlock different things. Circuit boards are very important. Um, osmium is really hard to come by. I'll have to double check the cave where I thought osmium was to see if I can actually get any. Okay, so I'm going to empty my pockets and I'll be back here. Okay, we're back up here. Let's have a gander. So that, that was the engine room. We've been in there. Now we're in here. Okay. Let's have a look. Some more of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Again, I really want to get as many of those computer chips as possible because I don't know how good the unlocks are until I unlock them. Okay, so there's no doors here. No doors there. This is where we came in. Um, oh, there's a door open there. I can see some debris. More circuit boards. Oh, and be careful, uh, make sure you've got enough uh, room for the circuit boards because I deconstructed some. Um, they fell on the floor because my inventory was full and when I came back to get them, they were gone. So some of those things despawn. And again, here's another double door that won't open. Some of the things despawn before you can pick them up. So you've got to be very quick and you've got to be sure you've got the... Um... I'll empty my pockets again. You've got the uh, inventory space to collect things. Again, no doors opened up in this area. Let's respawn. Just grab that iron. No computer screens have lit up. No doorways have opened up. That's a respawn. Just collect that little iron. Uh, the reason I collect the iron is because it's not really cheating. I've got like a uh, more than enough for the rest of the game but i just don't like having to walk past something and see that i have a look at it so i just deconstruct it just to get rid of it oh just that one little door that's kind of um yeah okay well i think that's all the ships that have can't deconstruct that that's all the ships that had power cells just trying to think of all the ships. Okay, so we had the the first crash site there. Then we had the cargo pods. We had that little bridge unit, which I don't think had any power cells. We got this one. We got the arch. And we got the team that buried uh, got buried in the cave. Hmm. I think that might be it. Which means I've got, I think, two power cells left over. That's 
water. Two power cells left over. So that means I can build two um, drone units and see how they actually work. Hmm. I think at the beginning of the next video, I will actually unlock those blueprints to see what exactly they are. And I will go through all the blueprints that have unlocked between the last video and this one because, again, I've got my oxygen production going really well. I've launched a whole heap of rockets to, um, I think it would be close to 10, so it'd be like 10,000 times the base rate of oxygen production. And I've also built a whole heap of level 3 trees, which are a couple of hundred, if not a thousand, per, um, per unit. So I am actually getting quite a bit and again we'll just finish off I don't even know where I am I'm lost there we are we will finish off on having a look at the screens as to where I am and what the next video will be about actually I'll just dump everything in here that I can except for you that okay so bio uh, terraforming index is going up pretty well I think it was um well below that like probably 50 so i've gone up quite a bit again i'll have to double check the last video oxygen is i think that's almost at the end of the oxygen tier 75 yeah so it's going up pretty well by the end of the next video oxygen will be completely unlocked uh, 155 ppm that will be unlocked that's already done 13 I would say I'm about, uh, I'm not sure if that's 13,000 MPA or it's uh, 1,300 MPA. Because that's quite a large, quite a large jump. But then again, so are these things. Hmm. Okay, we'll see by the end of the next video. Um, extracts all from the ground depending on user oh so you can actually select which ones it is extracts rarer is rarer or okay so this one definitely will be picking up the uranium in that mine then if it picks up even rarer resources um the plants and the insects are going pretty well so i've got another bee so i need that for the garden um i'm up to the fish but i can't actually do anything with fish amphibians ah see it's not going anywhere because they haven't added this stage to the game so i can start to get fish oh, unless i need us unless this only goes up with fish and not the terraforming index because i haven't got fish yet but we'll see if it starts to go up when i start to get fish because i think it's this one no this one over here yeah i think i might have to actually start getting fish before that actually goes up so once you get to the plant stage the terraforming index stops working and it's the, then it's the plant um, insect stage that actually starts production. Okay. I, again, because of lagging, I deleted pretty much all the level ones. I've only got the, the main or the latest levels, but I did keep one of each plant just to see what they look like. Um, I've got some trees ready to go for more level three uh, tree farming. And I have... Um, unlocked a lot of stuff for the next video so i think the end of the video is here the next video will be un showing you the unlocks showing you all the extra things that these screens do because of the the rockets and i will also unlock these blueprints to see what goodies we can get from it so that will be the end of this video uh, thanks for watching if you have any comments on how i can make these videos better please leave a comment I just ask that you leave a uh, leave a civil in the comments down below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.